This is an introduction video of installation of CAE520 Compressed Air Network Auditing System. CAE520 includes a PTF520 pitot tube flow meter, an IoT dead logger and a hot tap drilling set. This is a PTI520 pitot tube flow meter. This is an IoT data logger. This is the ball valve and socket for installation. This is a hot tap drill. And here are some cables for wiring. All items are held in a hard plastic suitcase. Now let's see how to install the PTI520 flow meter without stopping fluid. First we need to weld the socket on the pipeline. If welding is not available on site can use a clamp-on socket instead. In this video we will demonstrate with a clamp-on socket. We need to loosen the screws and open the clamp-on socket first. Then clamp it on the pipe and tighten the screws. Make sure the screws are tightened well to avoid leakage. Second, mount the half inch ball valve on the socket. Please bond the socket thread with plastic tape first to ensure sealing. After threading the ball valve on, better use a wrench to rotate the ball valve and make it tighten up. Now we need to mount the hot tap drill on the ball valve. Drill has an injection valve and makes sure the iron scuff not getting to the pipe during drilling. Please close the ball valve first. Can also use plastic tape to bond the thread on the hot tap driller to skill drilling. Now open the valve and let the drill through and touch the pipe. Then you can use an electric drill to clamp on the hot tap drill. If using an impactor drill, please use no impact mode when drilling. Now let's drill. Please make sure to press on the drill hardly. As when the pipe is drilled through, the pressure in pipe might push the drill up and cause danger. The drill won't be completely ejected out, but please still be careful. After the pipe is drilled through, please carefully lift the drill up above the valve. Close the valve so the drill now is separated from the pressurized pipe. Now remove the electric drill and the hot tap drilling tool. Now let's install the PTF520 PITO2 flow meter. Again, bond the thread with plastic tape first. Now screw the flow meter on and tighten the lower part of nut sleeve. Open the ball valve and push the meter into correct depth. Correct the flow direction and tighten the higher part of nut sleeve. Here is how to calculate the insertion depth. 
Just make sure sensor in middle of pipe. Now let's wire the meter. Here is the IoT data logger, cable connecting data logger and flow meter, power cable, and antenna. Plug this end of the connection cable to the four pins socket on data logger and other end on flow meter. Plug the power cable to the three pin socket on data logger. Now screw the antenna onto the data logger. Plug the power cable. The wiring is like this finally. Two signal lights twinkle like this means the system is working. This is the display of the meter. There are four pages showing readings. First page shows positive direction flow rate and positive total flow. There are two keys for setting. Left key is switch key and the right key is select and the confirm key. Press switch key to switch to next page. You will find temperature and pressure reading on second page. Third page is positive flow and delta P. Last page shows positive total and negative total. Press the selector key for 3 seconds to enter setting interface. Use switch key to find the menu you need to set. Here we take setting pipe diameter to 50 mm for instance. Here is also a screen showing how to use Comate app to set on cell phone. Use switch key to switch to sensor setup and press select T to enter the menu. Switch to run pipe diameter and select. Use switch key to find the digit you want to set and use select key to select. Use switch key to set the number and use select the key to confirm. Select the OK to confirm setting and quit. Now let's find out how to use IoT to check data. User can log in Comet IoT website to check real-time data and output reports of a selected period.